take notes about Kayla's story so that you can go and say, hey, you know what? I totally understand what you're saying, but my friend, that, 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 and you can tell a story. That's why it's important to hear stories from other teammates because we can go and say, hey, maybe you don't have the same story as somebody else, but that objection that somebody is giving you, that person may relate to one of our teammates story and you can share, hey, you know what? I know other teachers on the team. I know other moms on the team. I know other grandmas on the team. I know other single moms on the team, blah, 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 blah. Get the point? Okay, anyway, so I'm not going to take much of your time because I want to give the uh, most of this time to Kayla. We want to hear from you. I'll just tell you guys, I don't even know how, but somehow, she was led, she says by God, and I believe in God too. She was, she was led to say yes to this opportunity after Brandy told me, she's like, I asked her a bajillion times and she was like, no, no, no. no. <laughs> and um, she decided to say yes to Zaya and she's had a very successful path with Zaya so far. Her journey's been just incredible. Um, Tell us, Miss Executive, how do you do this? How do you go from saying no, 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 no to now being our top seller every week in the top um, leaderboards as one of our top sellers? Um, it's just incredible. And we want to learn from you. Anything you can share with us, we'll be more than happy to take notes and take away. So um, I think you need to click the unmute on your end. There you go. Thank you for saying yes. You Thank so you great. so much for having me. Seriously, like first thing, I cannot tell you, I feel just so unqualified and undeserving of this, but thank you so much for giving me this opportunity to share my story. So, um, so I'll just kind of start by telling you how this started for me, which is totally crazy. Um, my friend Brandy, who we grew up in the same town, she was more like my sister's age. Y'all love this thick southern accent too, I'm sure, but um, um, was probably my sister's age. And we kind of, I've known her my whole life. We grew up in church together, all of those things. And I knew she sold Zaya. And I was like, oh, cool, activewear. Yay, I love activewear. Um, but that was kind of it. And so for, I don't know how long she was telling me and trying to get me to buy a bra. And I was like, eh, you know, I might, I love my sports bras that I have, blah, blah, blah. So one Christmas, um, Brandy set up at the bazaar in my little hometown church. So hold on, let me show you. If you guys see, Brandy's right there at the gym. Work. I see her at the bottom of my screen. She's wearing the copper, the hot pink copper charge. She's like, mm -hmm, okay. Say the story. Where is Brandy? I need to see her. <laughs> you don't see Makes her? My day. She's right there. She's right oh, there she is. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Brand. Yeah. Okay. Keep going. <laughs> okay. So literally, like, mom gets me this sports bra, and she called me, and she said, hey, I got you a sports bra for Christmas. I love Brandy, and I want to support her, and I know you wear them every day. So, you know, I thought you'd get it. I was like, oh, thanks. Great. So I get it for Christmas that year. Um, and immediately the next day, I'm sure Brandy remembers. I really don't. But I I bought like five or six the very next day of the All-Star Bras because I was literally obsessed. Um, I had worn every bra known to man and like nothing compared to the support of this bra. I was so excited. So I buy this bra. I turn around. I buy like six or seven more, however many it was. And then over the next, y'all, this was like a two-year journey, it seems like. I kind of gradually bought a pair of leggings here or there. Um, and for two years, Brandy was like, please have a party. I said, I'm just not a party person. I don't want people to feel obligated to buy from me. Like, that's just not my thing. You know, I'll Where support you. you. Can you like, how many people have told you no? And you're like, oh, I'm not good at this. Two, it's like almost two years sometimes it takes a person almost two years you know like you just don't give up on people that's what we need to do <laughs> carry on I interrupt a lot you got this no please do I love this 
um so i agreed to have a party and i'll be totally honest the reason i said yes was because i had said no twice before and i was ready <laughs> and i was like okay i'm just gonna do this for her like i didn't even really want one that's the honest truth so i agreed to have this party it was really good and i cannot tell you how much fun i had that week just like learning about the products and how fun it was. She had some giveaways and I was like, maybe I love, part I am a party person. Like this is so much fun. So I think I tried, I told you it was like 750 free and 20 half offs. And she was telling me that I could, I could split them. And I was like, no, I want to use all three parties. <laughs> so I bought it all and tried everything. Um, and it was, in yes. Yes, Brandy. I, I think that's what it was. It was crazy. And at the time, I didn't know that was a big deal, which makes me laugh, oh, too. Trust me, nobody will ever... If I have a party that sells 5000 I will not forget that. Like, that's like a jackpot. <laughs> the ultimate jackpot. And so it, like, it hit me. And I was just like, I had so much fun with this. And she had mentioned the opportunity before. Um, but I just... I was not a, I have no experience in sales. I have never sold anything. All I've done my whole life is play basketball. Like that's my, that's my story. <laughs> and, um, I just, I told her how fun it was. And I was like, Hey, I'm interested, but I, I don't want to go anywhere. I'm not, I want to do it from my computer. And I don't know if I have time because I want to be a mom first. And so I remember asking her about the time commitment and, she was like, well, it is what you make it and what you need it to be. And so totally honest, my intentions were not to spend much time on this at all. Um, you know, I'm a PE teacher, a wife, a mom, a basketball coach. I have a lot on my plate. And so the last thing I was thinking about was doing this as what it has become for me. And so I told her, I was like, look, I'm willing. I'll give it a try. Let's see what happens. Um, and she gave me. I had a couple of people, I think, book a party from my party with her before I had decided that I would sell. And she gave me one of those parties to do for my friend. And so I tried it with her and I loved it. Like I had so much fun. And I said, okay, this is, I'm going to be committed to this. Um, but let me back up because it's crazy how this kind of came about. I was sitting on the couch. We had just bought a new house um, and I was sitting with my husband and I said, what would you think if I told you that I was going to sell activewear? And he was like, I would say, go for it. I think you can do anything. Of course, he's so sweet and so hot. Like he's downstairs cooking supper right now. He's so great. Amazing. So um, he was on board and I said, you know, worst case scenario, we can laugh about this later and be like, hey, remember that time I tried to sell activewear and it just like blew up in my face or it could be awesome. Um, so I started. Um, I had felt, I coached in college, uh, girls basketball for a while. And you know how some people have like a passion for young children, older people. My passion is college age and high school age girls. That's my jam. Um, that was the most vulnerable point of my life. And so it's where I feel the most called by the Lord and it's where I feel the most gifted. And so as a basketball coach, um, I kind of get that fix, but I was missing my college. I was, I was missing that, that age and young women. And so, um, this kind of gave me an opportunity to share something with my daughter, um, that we could do together. She helps me with all that. She's the best salesperson ever. And she literally wrote in her Santa letter. She wants all the teachers at her school to get hot pink, sparkly Zaya leggings. So incredible couldn't do it without her mm -hmm. and we decided we would do this together and when I started the plan was that any um, commission that we would make she and I would split that and she could choose how to give her half away however she wanted um, Thank you. and this was like an avenue really to shape her heart um, and it gave us a way to be able to give that we wouldn't have been able to before we had just bought a new house we were kind of strapped in our finances but I never anticipated um, that this would be something that we would need. And so fast forward October and, um, and ignore me if I cry. I'm a super emotional person. I cry about everything. So just ignore me. 
but in October, my husband um, unexpectedly, oh yes, I'm sorry. She, she just turned five. Yes. So literally just turned five. Um, in October, my husband unexpectedly lost his job. Um, again, we had just bought a new house. We were dependent on his income. Um, and Zaya had become, like I said, something that Scarlett was giving away and something that we were using um, as savings is, is what it was, what I wanted it to be for us. And then he loses his job. He's been out of work for a month and it became what we lived on. Um, and then shortly after that, I tested positive for COVID and he was quarantined for 24 days and couldn't work. Um, so a month turned into, you know, two to three months and we didn't know what he was going to do. So not only did he not have a job, but we didn't have a plan <laughs> and that was super scary. So during that time, Zaya just kind of provided for us and it allowed, it gave my husband um, a dream as well. Like he had seen what this had done for me and for our family and it, he started to believe in him. Um, so this has impacted someone who is the closest to my heart, which is super special. And we were able, we had enough money saved to put a down payment on his new business. And so now um, we literally work 30 seconds from each other. He's right by my high school. My kids go to school 30 seconds down the road, the other direction. We live in a tiny little town and Zaya has literally just blessed our family. I, I just can't even tell you guys. And like I said, when I started, that was not what I was even wanting. Like, I didn't even think it was possible that that would happen for us. And so he started believing, he was listening to the podcast. Like he's listening to you women and listening to you speak about your business. And it is motivating him um, to do something with his life. And so we kind of coined this phrase and this became our thing. And I have, since I was in high school, I've always had a sticky note on my um, speedometer in my car. And it said, what do you want? And I look at it every day. And so for me, here's where the tears are going to come. So y'all have to ignore me. Um, but I know it's ridiculous. Um, for me, I want my kids um, to see that they're, first of all, that their dad and I love them more than anything in this world, but that we're doers. We're not just dreamers, we're doers. And so when we set goals, it's not things we want to try to do it's things that we're going to have the mental toughness enough to say I'm getting this done because this is a goal of mine um and then lastly and this is a personal thing for me but I want God to be glorified in how we go about doing that and so for us it just fits um it still fits and I'll be honest it started out really easy the parties came easy everything came easy it did and more recently, since the new has worn off a little bit, I've had to, to work at it some more, but I want that, y'all. I have found that um, I am the most fulfilled and the happiest when I'm in the busiest seasons of life. It's just where I function the best. Um, I'm stressed. Sometimes I'm just so glad that the children made it through the day alive. We're all home and we're going to wake up and try again tomorrow. And that's literally how I feel sometimes. And I love it because we're growing through the struggles and um I really feel that it's just been it has been incredibly special I wish I could truly put into words what it has meant to my family um and then I want to say this too and then you can ask me whatever anything I'm here for you guys but um my team really to has been you're going to have to rewind that alone all because I'm so 49 amazing women um, on my team who not only you know, like they make it doable for me. Like I said, I'm a teacher. I'm a basketball coach every day when Wednesday, when new releases come out, I'm in basketball practice. I can't post them. And they're like, Hey, I'll get your post today. And they post my VIP group for me. Um, they post in my parties for me. Like they just, it's, it's such a group effort. Um, we have a constant group chat. I'm not available 24 seven all day, every day while I'm teaching. Um, they're there to answer questions. It's, they're just an ex 
extension. They're everything I want to be. And so if you don't get anything else, you need to recruit some bomb women like on my team um, that are there. They've become family. That That's what it is. So I love you guys. I know some of you are watching and I sure appreciate y'all. I know. So awesome. Uh-oh. We can hear you. My internet connection is shaking. No, you're okay. You're back. We lost you there for a little bit, okay. but you're okay. Right? I think we can hear you. Can you guys you hear me? Be. Yeah, I think so, right? Okay. Yeah, thank you. That was, that, it's so awesome. <laughs> what you said is word by word. It's like, I know how you feel and it's like so hard to, to describe it at the same time because it's so powerful at the same time is it's a product of a very simple activity that we just do over and over right like sure. the part, it's like every day is showing up for the same kind of like the same it's very it's it's a it's a very simple activity that we get to do every single day um but it's it creates such a ripple effect and like a snowball. It's like, it just, it's like, what is happening, right? Like it starts here and then you look back and it's like, whoa, I can't, and it started with a, with a, with a bummer bra or an all-star bra, an all-star bra? All-star bra, girl, still the best, still the best. It all started with somebody who chose not to give up on somebody uh, and that's Brandy and, uh, it started with somebody who decided to give it a try. Um, I wonder what would happen, what would have happened if your husband was like, no, don't do it. Like, I don't think you should do it, right? Like how crazy that it somehow came back to also bless him. And yeah. um, obviously your family and all the people that you get to bless. So I think one of the most important questions that um, maybe most of us have, I don't know, I may be wrong, but how do you, how do you, how do you run your parties? How do you find more people, right? What questions do you guys have? Feel free to comment um, with your questions and I will read them for her so that she doesn't get distracted with the chat. But how do you, so you did your first party. What, how did you keep going from there? You said you're in a small town, like, yes. so where do you find people? Okay. Let me start by saying this. Um, I'm very fortunate to have lived in like four different communities in college and then where I've coached. And so I, I do know a lot of people and um, I'll say just to be fair, I have a, a, a big circle of people that I know um, just because I've lived in a lot of places, but none of them outside of Tennessee. I mean, they're all West Tennessee. So it's, it's still relatively small. Um, after I had my first party, I'm such a nerd. I am y'all like I'm a nerd in my entire life. Like I'll, i look at people that do it well. And then I try to figure out what things I can replicate. Um, so, you know, I was looking at leaderboard in sales and I'm seeing Allison and I'm seeing Sadie. And so I reached out to them and was like, y'all, okay, I need to learn. Like, tell me, what are you doing? What do I need to fix? And I, I called Allison and I actually watched a training that she did. And so this is her idea and it's just, it's worked for me too. And so I know there didn't mind me sharing, um, but I always, anytime in a party, and some of this is going to sound crazy guys, but I give away $30 in gift cards at the party I have, um, three $10 gift cards. And they come from posts that start on day one. One of those prize posts is to join my VIP. Join my VIP group, you get an entry. Um, I get customers that way who it's their first time trying. Uh oh, I think we lost you. We lost her, right? Yeah, I don't hear. Her. We need this. <laughs> <laughs> right. I need that. Hey, wait, get back. I think she okay, probably her we're like, wait. <laughs> Come back. Reel her back in. <laughs> <laughs> Kayla, come back. Oh okay. no. Okay. Oh, there she is. Hi. Let's change. Let's change locations. 
and see Let what happens. Rewind. <laughs> okay. So, so we were left at you give away, but you learned from Allison to give away, to give to do giveaways, and you incentivize people to join your VIP group from the get go. Yes. Okay. And I can't tell you how many times I have had customers like I'm talking great customers who have come from those parties and that have told me had I not joined your VIP group I don't know if I would have known how to find you like or remembered and so I think that's huge also if I give away the three ten dollar gift cards um I guarantee a two hundred dollar party in my parties that's what I do it works for me personally um I've only had maybe two that haven't reached that um Scarlett go, go with uh, daddy okay Okay, she's just getting her some panties. Excuse her for just a second. Okay, go ahead, sister. I love you. Oh, thank you. Okay. Um. So, um, what was that? Three ten dollar gift cards. Yes, that gets you if if they claim those and they expire if they don't use them in that party, and so if they claim those gift cards, that gets the three orders, um, and. Like I said, I I do not lose money in these parties. I don't at all. Um, I do not do many giveaways at, at all in my VIP group whatsoever. But in the parties, I do. Um, also, there are. I always try to book parties from parties when people know your hostess and they love your hostess. Um, they're willing to do a lot, and so. A lot of times I will offer some sort of small incentive, like if three people book a party with me for next month um, from her, then your hostess gets an extra $10 or, you know, whatever that is, because y'all parties are where you make your money. They just are. And everybody says that. And I, it's just true. That's just the honest truth. Um, and I try to have between four and eight a week. And I know that seems overwhelming. And it was to me at first a whole lot. Um, and honestly, that's getting harder and harder. I know that's not necessarily sustainable um, for a long period of time, but it has been so far. Um, but how do, so how do you, how do you post? How do you run them? How do you run sure. your parties? How okay. many days? Like, to give sure. a little bit all of, of my parties, I start them for my sanity. They all start on the same day. Every party I have starts on a Sunday. Um, and I run them all to Friday. So Sunday to Friday, if I need to extend for a day, I will, I, I don't love to do that, but I will, if I need to, that's why I leave that extra day on Saturday. Um, I post, I've actually changed this because I, my awesome group of women on my team have some amazing ideas. Um, and I've noticed that we don't get a lot of interaction during the work day. So I've kind of changed the post to where I'll post in the mornings and I kind of take a little bit of a break and then I'll make a lunch post. Um, and then I really hit it hard between like three and 10 at night. Um, I do, and again, this is just what's worked for me. On Sundays, it is the prize party post, um, sizing guides, some a game or two, like something fun and interactive. And then Mondays, I do sports bras. Tuesdays, I do leggings and joggers. Wednesdays, I do tees, tanks, and new releases. And Thursdays and Fridays, I kind of leave open to however the party is flowing. Um, you know, if I see they're super interested in something, I may go back and review that again. Um, I always go live to do the gift card drawings. I think people love that. Um, and I have had like 40 plus people tune in for the live drawings. I mean, it, it's really fun. Um, and a $10 gift card for me is well worth the amount of money that they may or may not, you know, spend in the future. Um, and then usually if I do an extension, I don't announce that beforehand. If the hostess needs like a little bit to get to the next level or whatever, then on Saturday morning, I'll make a post and just that we're extending it for another 24 hours so that everyone can get their orders in. Um, there are a million ways to do it right. That's what has worked for me personally. And if you have any like specific party questions, 
that I'm not answering, ask me those. I would I would love to answer those. I'm and, curious about the posting. Do you schedule your posts? Do you oh, use yes. schedule? Yes. <laughs> I use ThinkShare and I will not do it without it. Like I I can't. I am too busy. And so I schedule all of my posts on Saturdays. That's why I don't really run a party on that day. I need that time to get that done. Um, and saying sure, if you don't have it, in my opinion, it's the best thing I've ever done for my time because I'm a mommy first and it has given me time back with my kids, which is my priority. Um, and so it's, it's literally the best thing I have done. I, I can't tell you need it. <laughs> Some it's sort of only 10 bucks. Yes. Yes. And it is worth every penny. And there's, I know there's a free code for like 60 days for Zyra reps. So if you all figure that out, or you probably know what it is. Mm -hmm. um, and then this too, in my lives, this is going to sound so weird, but I'm a very weird person, but I have literally like eaten Sonic cheese sticks during my live videos. I'm, I'm being dead serious because um, I'm so, we literally we live life y'all and my kids are in my videos and sometimes they're dressed appropriately and sometimes they're not and mm -hmm. I think people love that I really do and at first I thought I had to be so perfect and professional and like you know let me buy a ring light and see if I can't get this to look perfect let me make sure I'm wearing Zaya and everything looks great sometimes I'm wearing a college t-shirt with my leggings and I'm like y'all you know what you love a Havana tank? Awesome. But if you also love that college t-shirt, that's okay too, because these leggings are amazing. Um, and I think people want real. And so when they see me with my cheese stick and my kid on my hip, who's screaming bloody murder, I think it just lets them know that you can be a hundred percent you and, and authentic and that's okay. And it doesn't have to be perfect all the time because that's not what our lives are. And so I mean, I am messy bun 99% of the time. And I genuinely do think people want to see you being you. And so don't be afraid to have your kids in there with, I mean, it's great. Scarlett, it used to drive me insane because she wanted to show the detail on everything. Her favorite thing is with the all-star bra, she'll say, do you see the one more rep detail on the back? That's my favorite. Um, and I used to think people would be like, oh my goodness, if she would just so, show the products and get the kid out of the picture, this would be great. But that's not how they feel. Mm -hmm. um, they want to love you and they want to know you and they want to know your family. And so be 100% what you are. If you need to make a live video one night while you're cooking supper, tell them that. Hey guys, I wanted to, to share with you about bras, but you know what? My kids haven't eaten, so I'm cooking spaghetti and you're just going to get in between me stirring. I'm going to hold up a bra and show you what we've got. Um, and I have honestly had more sales come from videos and posts like that than I have from anything else. And then the other thing is make your VIP group not just Zaya, like a place where people belong um, and where they go to get encouragement. So like I make sure to post you know, at least every day, something uplifting that has nothing to do with buying these clothes or anything like that. And again, I just want it to be a place where they feel safe and where they're comfortable. And that's what my people want is, you know, every time I ask them, hey, what would you like to see in this group? What could I change? It is never anything about the products. It's always they want more of, they want more of your heart. They want more relationship. And that's what we are. And so, and I think Paula said this yesterday. I wrote this down because it was so crazy about seeing your customers um, as a doorway. And I mean, that's a beautiful thing because Brandy had no clue while she was pursuing me that she was pursuing something in my heart that the Lord was trying to use for good. And, but she just kept on. And so if she had just seen me as a destination and after I turned her down for the 65th time, she would have been like, okay, fine you know, whatever, I'll move on to someone else. But it was more than that for her. Um, and I think, you know, that happens all the time. Leslie, who's one of my best friends in the world, is the first person that signed up under me. And we have not always been that close. And I remember, like, she literally said, mm -mm, no, I'm trying to pay for my master's. 
And I said, well, then it fits even more because <laughs> I mean, thank you for proving my point that you need to be selling Zaya because this kid, if your one goal is to pay for your grad school classes, how amazing is that? And I think she saw that and y'all, she is, she just hit um, director for the second month. She is amazing um, and has been so great since the beginning. And so that's just, that's just one story, but how can, when you're looking to recruit people, and this is not my avenue, it's not what I'm great at, but how can Zaya impact them and change your life the way, change their life the way it's changed yours? And don't expect it to be the same story because some people don't, aren't looking for um, this to be a full-time gig right now. They might later, they might not know that that's what they want it to be. They may just want to have a little bit of breathing room around the holidays or Christmas money to spend on their kids. And that's okay too. And not everybody's going to get it. I've had some people that are just don't get it and that's okay. They don't have to, because this is your dream and this is what you're doing for your family. And it has value. Um, goodness. It has value. It's true. It's more than it's some like that saying that it's, it's more than just leggings. And honestly, when I joined, it was the same thing. I, I didn't, I didn't, I couldn't get past the idea of like, wow, it's going to be this amazing thing and this huge team and this like being recognized, like all these things that come with the, with the, with the growth and all of that. I just wanted to make 300 bucks to pay karate lessons for my kids and take them for ice cream. Cause every time we drove on Fridays by the, by the frozen yogurt place like mommy can we have ice cream i had to say no because I, I couldn't swipe my card i couldn't we couldn't so it was like oh i can totally wear them and uh, i'll sell some here and there like it's but it can be whatever you choose to to make out of it um so i i love that you share that point and and the fact that look it's we have a busy mom you have a busy um, full-time working mom she has little kids it's it's just I think it's when there is a way when there's a will there's a way and you had Absolutely. you had a will you have you had a will you wanted to do something um, totally unrelated to income in the moment but look what it has become so super 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 cool. I'm super happy for you. And there's a few other questions that um, some of the girls are asking. Um, so yeah, so when you post from SinShare, I know, uh, was it Celeste maybe? Yeah, it does say SinShare, but it's not a, I mean, I don't know. It's not a big deal. It's, I hope you don't, I hope you can get past that. The difference between a post scheduler and posting scheduling directly from Facebook is that you can reuse the same. Yeah. So you have to go to Facebook, book this party and then go to the other group and then the other one and do all that with SinShare. And I never use post my party, but I'm sure it's the same way. You take one and it distributes it to multiple places. Yeah. You can just change the, the time and you can change. I know um, Krista, Krista does, she changes color. So she put like a, a red background and or the same picture and she'll create like a red background and blue background and orange. So she's posting the same image with a little twist on every picture so that Facebook doesn't say, whoa, what's all these same images going on at the same time? They, they don't think it's a human, but that's about it. It's only $10. I think post my parties around the same amount. Um, I think it's worth it if you want to create a little bit more freedom and still get the volume of. And I, I know that like, I know some people don't like that and that's totally fine. Like this is what has worked for just for me because I don't have, I don't have time to schedule them individually and to use the Facebook scheduler. Um, and being totally honest, I have had women who have asked me, um, how I post all the, like how I do the parties while I'm working and stuff. And I've been honest and said, look, I use a, um, a scheduling app and I do most of that work on Saturday so that 
I can be more present with you guys in the party and respond to your questions and comments. It, it works for me. And it's almost like they're grateful and happy for me. <laughs> like they'll say, Oh, that is awesome. Cause that gives you more time with your family. Like I've never, not one time had a negative response about the posted by censure thing. Um, now they may think it, but I've never, and again, I'm a 100% an advocate for it. So it is, it's just really worked for me. It's worth it. Yeah. So I just think one of the, I don't know, what would you say um, in this scenario? It's like there's, there's, and you said it in the beginning, you know, people and you have, you know, relationships, you've cultivated relationships with all people. And I think it was from Eric Gorey that I heard before where he said, I don't know if you guys are familiar with Eric, but he said when he started network marketing, he was very introverted for years so he started building a business where he wasn't where, where he didn't have those types of not because he was a bad person but because he wasn't in a people business before he wasn't he didn't need people he didn't give value to people so maybe you don't have not that not that you're a bad person I'm not saying that but you it, it's never been your thing and now you're in a business that requires relationship building, cultivating those relationships and friendships and uh, nurturing, you know, maybe past friendships and waking them up because it's been like, you know, like your friends from high school, maybe they want to support you, but you just got to reconnect and, and let it simmer there for a little bit. And then it comes back to you. So if you're not getting that same kind of results, focus on cultivating relationships relationships like um it's not that you're not good at it it's not that you're not going to be successful it's just that it may require a little bit of extra time watering those seeds and then you will get the fruit then you'll get the plant to grow then you get the shade to come out of the like to come from that plant but um not everybody's the same right but I don't know what do you think I think too like you know, and everybody has their own style. I don't, I'm not a cold messenger. I'm so bad at that. Like I really am. I just come off. It, it's not good for me. Um, <laughs> but I do love to develop relationships with people. I love relationships. And so for me, it's more of, um, like, I might reach out and just say, if, if I know I have some kids on my basketball team who have siblings, who are in college, who are playing intramural sports. And, you know, I might hear that they're looking for a good sports bra. And so that becomes like a topic of conversation, but it doesn't, I'm not immediately, hey, you need to buy a sports bra for me. We have some great deals. It's more like, girl, I remember, I loved intramurals. That was so fun. Um, house school, we kind of chat. And then the next day, she might bring it up. And it gives me an avenue. I just don't ever want to feel so pushy where people think that it's about money and and that's it. And it's not about relationships and, and me caring about them because that takes priority for sure. So I think that has so much value, what you were saying. And that's kind of been how Zaya was like for me from the beginning. Y'all, I didn't know anybody or what this was going to be like. And just having so many people in my upline who have been mentors and reached out for me, Brandy and Becky and Tess, and who have like literally pursued me and um, answered questions late at night when they didn't have to. And then people in my downline who have done the same, who, and it amazes me because all the girls on my team have so many different gifts um, and they make me better because there are certain, I'm not good. I am not an organized part. Like my posts are not, I mean, sometimes they look like my brain. They just seem all off the wall and everywhere. Um, and they'll give me tips on how they organize and do those things. And I have some women who are great at that and others who are unbelievable at getting interaction. And I mean, it, I think it's just learning from other people. Um, but as far as the parties, I see that's a lot of the questions is how do you, how do you keep getting parties? Um, I would say that on average, I book two parties from every party I have, probably. Um, that's where most of them. Do you incentivize? From. Like what? Yes. Um, most of the time, if three people book a party from a party, I'll give the hostess a bomber bra. Um, 
and that a lot of people may not be sure that they want to party but they do love their hostess and Mm -hmm. so they're willing to do that for their friend and I have had some people who ended up signing up as reps who did not want to I mean that was me that was my story I did I didn't really want to have a party I just love Brandy and so I thought you know I wanted to do this for her and it ended up being the biggest blessing for me and you just never know and then also this I had two parties in a row okay I booked a party from a zero party so zero sales she had a party zero sales and I met a friend who became a rep from that second party and so you just can't you can have bad parties right like not yeah. all parties are wow tough, no tough. and you can't let oh you're let normal get away from you yeah. you're normal you're I am more up. than normal, <laughs> more than normal. <laughs> to this like I've kind of seen Zaya from the beginning um as it's like this weird analogy that sticks in my head but that I'm we're fighting upstream um I think it's runs on momentum a lot of times and you can't you can't let that drop and so I feel like sometimes I'm constantly swimming upstream but if I if I stop swimming I'm gonna drift like I'm naturally gonna go the other direction and so I make myself I don't make myself I enjoy it but I have certain goals every day of things I want to do and so if I want to book two parties for next week um that's what I'm gonna do and I will tell my husband don't we're, I'm not going to bed until I get these parties booked um and I know that sounds a little crazy and I'll be honest I have I mean like I said I've played sports my whole life so I love a good I enjoy that I really do um but it's just self-talk yourself you're worth it I mean speak the things that you're gonna do that you can do because you can uh-oh Clay, can you say hi hi <gasps> <laughs> Hi. Like I said, never really properly dressed. Um, but the momentum thing is huge and, and I don't want to drift. And so I have been saying every month, this has got to slow down. Um, at some point, you know, I'm starting basketball season. I'm a coach and I'm not, and those are excuses. If it's something I want, I'll make it happen and I'll make time. And if that means, if that means staying up an hour later, then what I would really like to, well, how bad do I want this? And so the best example I can get is, would I like to weigh about 10 pounds less? Absolutely, but obviously not as bad as I like to eat fried food or else I would do it. So, um, you know, how bad, how bad do you do you want this? Um, yeah. Yeah, and it's okay to put your phone down. Um, I think that's important to be intentional with your time. So your work time has value. Um, You know, I'm not just kind of working on Zaya. Set your phone down, work, do what you need to do. And then watch watch the Grinch with your kids or your grandkids or whoever that is. That's okay. And you need to do that. Um, And this business allows you to do all of it well, which I think is super cool. Um, I get to work my business from home where my kids are literally in and out, you know, during this, I hear my husband, Clay, get down here, son. <laughs> Cause he knows I'm up here talking with you guys. Um, but it's so great. It's so great. It's so good. Oh, there's my child, my baby. I love it. My baby. He also just interrupts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, so I look, you have all your babies, have them do like, right cards I don't know thank you cards that's what I have her doing here with that's me. amazing yeah. yes you can pay them and it's also a tax write-off that's true. <laughs> <laughs> tax write-off. Or just in exchange for a roof over their head right I yeah, don't know <laughs> make them part of it yeah no these have been so great I think um I think when we when we see when we see those kinds of numbers that you are pulling and Allison and Sadie and Amy like you're like man what 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 is the secret and and I think um, as much as I would like to say wow you have a secret it's it's hard work 
and it's committing to yes. something now that is gonna pay off imagine if you didn't say yes a few months ago if you didn't put that work in yeah. um how how cool that i'm sure you look back and you're like yeah man i'm i'm so glad i put in that work because absolutely it's Absolutely. paying you guys now when it's taking care of your family and others. That's really cool. So it's really up to you. Don't, you don't need to sell 30,000 a month or 20 something. It, it's all up to you, but it's good to hear those stories because it, it helps you think it's possible. If somebody else has been able to do it, I can do it too. So it's about intentional work. It's about spend, spending your time intentionally in, in the right activities. And you may get some people tell you no, but there are some yeses out there and spending time in cultivating those relationships because they pay off. Um, I don't know if there's any other questions that you guys spot there that we haven't answered. Um, I thought this too, while you're looking for a question, but um, I think wording, like if I have someone who makes a purchase for my VIP page, for example, and they haven't had a party with me, um, I think how you go about that is, is huge. So like sending a message and instead of saying, hey, do you think you might be interested in having a party, which is very passive, is to be like, girl, you look so great in your new bra. I know how much you love these products. Um, I have a party open December, blah, through blah. I would love to grab that spot for you. What do you think? And it, I think it's more direct and it's harder to, like, I know me, it's easier for me to blow something off. If you're like, Hey, let me know when you want to have a party. Oh, sure, girl. I'll let you know. And Forget, right? <laughs> no, whereas if you give me a date, you know, I, that's a yes or no answer. Like, do you want this date? Um, and I think that's important and people love you. I mean, they want to support you. And so I think that's, what's so cool too. my little hometown now of Alamo is I feel like everybody I know has had a party and, um, every time I think I'm going to run out someone else, I meet someone new, like it just from a party, which is amazing. Y'all. And I heard it, I've heard it over and over again, but party, it's where it's at. It really is. Part, there's no secret, work hard and party and party as much as you can. Um, party, party. If, if volume, yes, if volume is your thing, if that's what you're looking for. And that's where you get more parties. That's where you get like hostesses. You get more yes. people into your VIPs. Absolutely. You get more referrals, you get repeat customers, you get reps because um if you uh, let, and i'll just ask here how many of you came from a party like you signed up because you were part of a party comment or maybe raise your hand if you were in a party and that's how you found zaya yeah let me see there's a lot of okay yeah there's a lot of pages and there's a lot of you that yeah they're yeah. so cute everyone is so cute they're I know, like big me big me <laughs> <laughs> yep that's that's it like the majority of um even as a company if you ask if you did a survey where did majority of people come from from parties so that's that's where is that hosted hosted and sign up in my credits and also the money flow around the holiday season um yes and no allison i don't know i because it's slow if you want it to be slow. <laughs> With that, I mean, if you, in general, our industry is lower, like weight loss, shakes, working out, like a lot of things do slow down, but they pick up right after Christmas because people the week after, the week between Christmas and New Year's are like, oh my God, I need to lose weight. January 1st, I'm starting. What am I doing? And that's where, so that week is going to be pretty good for us. But some people get in the mode of, oh, it's the holidays, it's too stressful, I don't have the time for this, and they take steps back. So you may see that slow down in your team, but if you put pedal to the metal, it's gonna pay you off January, it's gonna take off. So if you want, if you want more out of January, what you do today is what's going to pay off in January. If you take a step back now, you have to kind of like, 
get yeah. that engine going again and you'll see the results maybe february march does that make sense so it's you make out of you make you make it what you want it to be um you may have to bump up the intensity a little bit in terms of being more assertive with people one thing is um a lot of people right now something to think about people are not shopping for themselves they're shopping for other people so put that in their minds like oh my god this would be so great for your sister for your mom yes. this look at these great gifts for your dad look at these great gifts for your spouse um look at these cute things or a gift card you don't have to do anything like things like no need to go to the mall. These are gonna arrive at your house. You don't have to go shopping with a mask. That's annoying. Kind of like things like that, because it's true. People are not buying, most people are not buying for themselves right now, but they will on the 25th, the 26th. Yes. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> yeah. But don't don't lead this month thinking this month is not good. It's not gonna be good. If you want it to be good, it will be good. Sure. Yeah. Melissa just said, and this is such a good point because I forgot about this, but Melissa is one of my reps who's from California. So who would have ever thought of this Tennessee, California love story? But I met Melissa through a party of a friend who I met through another friend who I met through another friend's party. So we're talking four parties later is how I met Melissa. Um, and before she had her party, I said, Hey girl, just, I want to tell you about becoming a rep. Um, I just want to chat about it because if anyone is interested in your party, I want them to be able to sign up under you should that, you know, happen. And she was the easiest convince I've ever had in my life. <laughs> I mean, she was literally like, okay, sounds cool. Um, and she became a rep. And so I actually did her party for her um, as her launch party. And then not only did she get the rewards, but she got the commission as well. And so I think that's a good recruiting tool is if they are interested is, you know, hey, we can do this party and you can not only, you know, get, get the hostess rewards, but you can make the money. And I think Melissa had enough in her launch party to literally pay for her hostess, her enrollment kit and then some. And so sometimes people would see that as backwards since you can use your hostess credits for enrollment but it almost works just as well the other way mm -hmm. um and so my answer to the recruiting thing is parties like that's to me that's the best recruiting tool is i meet the people through parties and i saw one question is the average number of people in parties um i would say goodness, that's a hard question because I've had some with 10. I've had some with 300. Um, I would say my average party is about 40 people probably, um, which is pretty good. Those usually turn out well. And once one person posts, once I post that someone has made a purchase and I post a picture of what they purchased, it usually starts happening pretty quickly. I mean, people get major FOMO from that. Like they have to have, you know, whatever someone else got. Um, so make sure you post pictures of the products instead of just a generic thank you. I think that does make a difference. Mm -hmm. And except for Christmas time, I usually ask and I'm say, hey, I just want to make sure this isn't a gift. Um, and if it is, I won't post because it may be a gift for someone else in the group. I've done that before. So learn from me. <laughs> No, but I do think it makes a difference. Um, okay. um, I've even before posted a thank you to someone in a party, in a party I had that was a dud who ordered from my VIP group just to try to get it going. And I think it sold like 600 that night. I, like, I really think it jumpstarts sales when people see that someone has purchased. Mm -hmm. And do you message people? Do you go... Like, hey, do you need help? What can I no. do? Sometimes do you do that? Okay. Um, I will if I will if things aren't moving very quickly. Um, but this is just being totally honest. With four to eight, it it was it's really hard for me to message 
everyone and true you know and since the more parties i've had this is honestly this is just my heart it's a little less personal i feel like um sometimes but that's why i think the live videos are important so that and it's hard because you get sick of going live eight times i mean over and over i mean it's a lot it really is and there's not a way unless y'all know a way if you do i will hug you air hug you so hard right now but i don't think there's a way to go live in multiple groups um, um yes but it would have to be from a facebook page and you can just share that same link in multiple part in the multiple parties at the same time so you you Stop start it right with facebook. Now. Huh? Are you serious? Yeah, because you just share the link at the same time. So you won't say, hey, this is Paula's party. You just say, hey, welcome to the party. I'm so excited you're here. Um, or you can say, I um, actually, I mean, you could be honest and say, I am sharing from my page. I am running multiple parties at the same time. So I am so excited to connect with you guys. Um, if you have, if you need the link, the link is in the party and the announcement or whatever. Right. You just do one video and you broadcast to multiple groups. You just have to share it. You click share and shares in multiple places. It takes you two seconds. Yeah. Ooh, that's awesome. Yeah. What? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I think I heard something. Okay. But yeah, that is a way. What I have been doing is like, I would go live in one party and then it, I couldn't, oh, yeah, it bad. wouldn't share from that group that's to another. Bad. You know what I mean? And so that's what I need to do then is just record it in my VIP group or something. And wait, I think I'm going to mute you quick. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, I muted you. Sorry. I muted you trying to mute. Oh, I can't find you. There. So hard technology clearly. <laughs> Did I get you? Unmuted. <laughs> Yay, I'm back. Hey, here you are. Ta -da. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's a way. I mean, I would totally do that because it's a yeah. Yeah, it totally works. It has to be, yeah, it would have to be, if, to be able to share it from one group to another, you would have to, um, you would have to make the groups public. Um, and then, but I do know that the face, the verb app that we have with Zaya, if you guys are not familiar with it, the app, I think they're adding a live component. I think the app is going to help us in, in the case that we wanted to get away from Facebook. And, and, and I, I don't know if it has the, the ability to broadcast to Facebook or anything like that, I don't know. But anyway, that's just extra technology that we can pick up at some point. But um, I don't think it's available yet. They were just testing it with the, with the um, advisory board. So I saw some stuff going on, but I haven't, I haven't tried it. I have no idea. So yeah, that's an option. If you do it, if you test it out, if you're going live this week, let us know, but that's a great, if, if you don't have a Facebook page, you can go to, if you want to do that, you can go to your Facebook account. You have to have a public profile. I mean, you have to have a Facebook profile to be able to create a Facebook like page. So that's an option. And then your videos stay there and it just creates, it gives you more exposure really, because now that's public. Yeah. What else? We good? I think it's like a time just flies. This has been so helpful, right, guys? What do you guys think? I am not only inspired. I mean, I'm like, I don't even know how you do it, but we gotta be able to do it and match your effort and your energy. I love it. Mm -hmm. Um, um, I just found this. I was when you said just to, just to get it done and do it. Be willing to put yourself in potentially humiliating situations and be willing to be okay with it. Yes. Be okay, deal with it, and it'll pay off. Yes. I have to be humiliating humiliating daily. Not, yeah, but it, it's not bad, right? It's not no. It's fun. no, it's not a bad type of humiliation. <laughs> interesting. <laughs> okay, so... Mm, 
Joy says, I'm six months in and not really doing parties. My VIP group has been great. I love the way you approach people to host parties. Yeah, so it, it all depends. But definitely, if you want to create more sales, you want to have a little bit um, extra conversations and things like that, parties is where it's at. We're a party plan. Get more parties booked. Um, I want to give you guys a challenge. Who's up for a challenge? Me and my challenges. How about we, at some point tonight, get some parties booked? So if you're saying I need to focus, I need, I don't, I don't know what to do. I don't, I don't have books. I don't have parties in the books. This and that. Go out there tonight and do just what what she just uh, taught us. She taught us to just ask, hey, I have some openings for parties. Check your calendar. What do you have available? Say, hey, I have an opening for next week. Do you want to book a party? Let's do this. We have the mega party available. Maybe find hostesses, add them to the mega party. Let's have some energy, some fun in that mega party, and then get the ball rolling from there. So that's your challenge. I will post on the team page a little um, accountability and comment there every time you book a party tonight. Let's see how many parties we can all book tonight. So Thank you guys for being here. Thank you for thank you for your time, for your story, for your for your love, your tears, your support, everything. Kayla, you are amazing, such a hard worker. I'm so glad that you said yes and that this business and this community is blessing your family in so many amazing ways. You're awesome. Thank you so much for seriously, like you guys are unbelievable. I'm just like, see, I want to do this every day just to log on and look at y'all because y'all are all beautiful people. This is amazing. And thank you so much for having me. Um, I love you guys. Love you too. Love your team. Let's go finish this 2020 with a bang. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. Bye guys. Have a good night.